Welcome to the session on SAP Jewel, SAP's AI Copilot. In this module, we will explore SAP Jewel and understand how it helps businesses streamline processes, improve decision making and increase productivity of the business users. SAP Jewel is more than just an AI tool. It's a game changer. It can provide real-time contextual insights directly within SAP applications. Let's dive deeper into its functionality, architecture, and its potential for business transformation. SAP Jewel is a generative AI assistant embedded across SAP's enterprise software ecosystem. It acts as SAP's AI copilot, allowing users to interact with SAP systems through natural language, just like you would chat with a colleague or a friend. You can ask Jewel to retrieve information, execute transactions, or provide insights, all within the context of your SAP environment, whether it's SAP Success Factors or SAP S4 HANA Cloud. SAP Jewel is provided out of the box and natively integrated in SAP's cloud applications. It comes with pre-configured content that is active right away for customers with limited configuration effort. Currently, SAP Jewel is embedded in SAP cloud applications like SAP SuccessFactors and SAP S4 HANA public and private cloud and more applications to follow. However, keep in mind that Jewel is currently available only for cloud solutions, not on-premise customers. Remember the days when SAP users had to memorize complex T codes? Later, Fiori apps simplified things. Now, SAP Jewel takes it to the next level. So what makes SAP Jewel stand out? Context awareness. Jewel provides intelligent responses based on the user-specific SAP transactions and customer business data. It can maintain the context across different SAP products, whether you are accessing Jewel through SAP Start or directly within an application like SuccessFactors. Grounded on business documents, SAP Jewel uses techniques like retrieval augmented generation to link to relevant sources such as internal policies or business records to provide accurate information. Security and compliance. SAP Jewel follows user authorization and authentication rules, keeping sensitive data safe and ensuring everything stays compliant. Guardrails for responsible AI. It's designed with safeguards against inappropriate use including bias or hate speech. Seamless integration. Jewel is built into existing SAP environment, meaning it requires minimal setup and training. It integrates naturally with SAP systems we are already using, making it highly accessible. Let's understand the high-level architecture of SAP Jewel. The user starts with the query in the Jewel client in the respective SAP application. Each incoming request is processed based on three categories, scenario catalog, knowledge catalog, and context. Jewel analyzes if the user prompt is relevant for Jewel's scenario catalog. This catalog contains metadata of all available scenarios, functions, and skills of SAP cloud applications. Then it conducts an informational filtering based on the knowledge catalog. This contains SAP knowledge as well as customer-owned knowledge. This process is based on retrieval augmented generation. SAP Jewel is aware of the user's context and history. This information includes which SAP cloud application the user is using and which additional SAP licenses the customer has. Also, Jewel is aware of user's roles and permissions. This means a user cannot access information or execute business processes which they are not authorized to do. Lastly, SAP Jewel understands a user's chat history and context. Next, 
SAP Jewel takes all of this information and gives a much richer query to the LLM, which is responsible for the dialogue management. The LLM provides a grounded response back to the Jewel service. In this case, Jewel calls the respective SAP backend system to proceed with the requested query, for example, requesting for leave in success factors. The response is then filtered and the customer gets a replay with full details that the conversation and the output have been handled securely with enterprise level security and data privacy in place. Great. Now we understand that SAP Jewel is an AI copilot that's integrated with SAP solutions to chat with it to retrieve information or perform tasks. Let's have a look at some of the examples. AI Assisted Person Insights As a manager, salary discussions can be one of the most challenging tasks. And SAP Success Factors helps managers navigate these tough conversations with AI Assisted Insights, ensuring they are well prepared and confident. For instance, SAP Jewel. The AI Copilot helps managers review detailed insights on employees. It provides details about the employee's compensation history, promotion record, bonus eligibility, and career development. The AI can even compare the compensation with the market rates, making salary discussions more data-driven and balanced. SAP Jewel is much more than that. It can even help software engineers write code and accelerate productivity using generative AI. We are going to dive into a practical example of SAP Jewel generative AI capabilities and show you how to use it with SAP Build to develop a full stack application. By the end of this demo, you will know how to create a full stack application using a template develop data entities and services with Jewel's generative AI, generate application logic using Jewel's AI capabilities, and add a UI to the application and test it. If you want to try this yourself, it's completely possible with a BTP trial account. The first step is to log on to the SAP BTP trial. Once you are inside the global account, let's go to the boosters. That's where we're going to configure the SAP build code. It's so easy, just search for code or SAP build code, you'll find the SAP build code getting started. Booster pack. Let's click on that. Click on the start button on the top right. This will set up the SAP build code for us. It's really quick. No configuration, nothing is required. Once that is done, go to the sub account and uh, go to instances and subscriptions. That's where you will find the SAP build code. Click on the SAP build code. It will take us to a new screen. Okay, let's click here on the create button to create a new project. Let's choose build an SAP, sorry, build an application and then SAP build code, then full stack application. Give a project name. You can choose any project name of your choice. Click on create. It is creating a project for me. Now click on the project. It will take us to, to the editor. Okay, let's say build code editor. Once that is opened, we can start using the SAP Jewel right away. Click on the SAP Jewel icon on the left. Here is our chat assistant to build our application. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give a description to create some data models, okay? So on the right, you can see there are no data models right now in the project, so I'll put a description here. You can actually use this same description for your data models as well. I'll put that in the YouTube uh, description so that it is easy for you to copy paste and do this uh, exercise and learn the SAP Jewel AI features. So yes, it is creating a data model for me for customers, purchases, redemptions and products. So it has created a data model for me. Now what I will do, I need some sample data. So it is uh, how to create sample data. You have an option here to put some numbers here, say five. So it'll create five sample data for me. Okay, great. So now if I click on the enhance button, what I can do with this sample data is that I can make this sample data meaningful. Now it is not very meaningful. So I will put a comment saying, make this data meaningful. 
and SAP Jewel is going to help us to create a meaningful data. So he, here you can see Bob Brown, John Doe, etc. Right? Fantastic. Now the next step is to put some logic in there. Okay, I will add logic in purchases. Okay, and for that as well, I'm going to use the Gen AI features. So I'll click add here, then some standard event. I'll choose create, then I'll go for open code editor and go for the, again the AI enabled application logic. Here I'm going to use Jewel again to write code for me. So I'll say, okay, I'm going to paste a text here to make it fast. So I'll say, okay, reward points has to be one by 10th of the total purchase value, etc., etc. It has created a code for me. Great, I'll accept it. So fantastic, it has created a business logic for me for the purchases. Now let's do a logic for the redemptions as well. It's similar, same, same. Uh, click on add, application logic, and for this as well, I will go for the AI logic. Okay, then here in the SAP Jewel as well, I will uh, go for put a paste of the text and you'll do the coding for me. So it is like a redemptions where from where the the points has to be deducted, what should be the total value after the redemptions, etc. So you can use the same text uh, just like mine to write a code. Okay, fantastic. It has created logic for me as well. So now what is left is the UI. Great. I say build code has done a great job in creating the UI. So I'll create a UI for purchases first. I'll make it a bit fast. So yeah, I'll use a template here. Click on next, then list report page I'll choose and then I'll choose the entity as the purchases. Okay, great, I'll click on finish. It will create a UI for me, it's creating it for the purchases list view. Great. Now what I have to do, I have to create another UI. Okay, so the purchases list view is ready. Now I'll go for the another UI for that. I have to go to the UI application, so let me make it a little smaller because the add button is not visible really in the storyboard. So I'll click on the press button right now. It is going to create another uh, UI for the customers. I'll say customers, I'll make it a bit faster. Same options, list page, list report, customers as the object. Okay, now I have to do the same for my redemptions as well because for redemptions as well, I need a screen. Great. I'll choose the same options here. I'll choose redemptions and fantastic. Let's play. So now it has opened the application. I'll click on the customers. Then I'll click on the go button so that it will show the list of customers. These are the mock data that we have created. I'll go to Bob Brown and click on edit and I can, yeah, I can show you how to change the data in the list as well okay i'll go back to list page i'll now add a new record here okay let's click on create and create raj kumar an email and some customer numbers and values etc i'll click on create great i'll go to the list page and uh, you will be able to see the new record has been created we have developed data entities and generated application logic completely using AI. To conclude, SAP Jewel is transforming the way businesses operate, offering AI-driven solutions that go beyond simple automation. SAP Jewel is at the heart of SAP's AI strategy, and as we move forward, its role will only become more critical in shaping the future of enterprise operations. Whether you are in HR, finance, supply chain, or customer experience, Jewel has something to offer that can radically change how you work. Thank you and we will see you in the next session.